We sell welding gas, I bet they do. Sam's had a feel of the gear box. I need a longer box. Chafee. That. Picking up receipts. See, it's probably weird. Jubilee, what's this? Got me hat on. Oh, why have you done that? Stressed. Top down, baby. Bet it, our camper van. Finger it's hard. clips. Sweets. New strut. Morning, everyone. So this episode is just a mix-up of whatever it's content. As I forgot to start filming, it is Monday. We've got this MG that I spoke about in one of the other videos in. Absolutely mint on its age and it's only done 20,000 miles and you know what's wrong with it. So we're whipping out the head gasket now. We've got this in for MOT this afternoon that has had rear brakes fitted. That will smash that out this afternoon. And we've got that in for a power steering motor and an MOT that's already gone and had some tyres done at the neck in the last week. That's in for an MOT. We've ordered shockers and distant pads for the front of that. That's in for a clutch. Yeah, that's up for sale. That's up for sale. We've got this lovely little diesel Civic in. It's up for sale. And the Jag, we've still got the Jag. I can't believe we've still got the Jag. That's a lovely diesel Civic and that Jag there. I'm Colin. This is a week at Shine. Filmed on the mobile phone because we're that busy. Enjoy. It's not going to be that bad to do, really, is it? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where is he? Oh, I can see some it. It's his, uh, the bottom of the engine. Not his, not his, not his belly. Where's Sam? Where's Sam? Here he is. There he is. Right, yeah, so the bottom engine mount's coming off and we'll just get cracked on with this one for today. Oh, sump's arrived. So we've got the sump arrived for that Astra there. This Astra, no, that's a fear there. This has nicely passed its test. All it needed was a distant pads on the back. It has got an advisory of needing the oil leak starting out. So yeah, it ain't a bad Monday. It ain't a bad Monday. It's beautiful Rover here. Guess what? The gasket's arrived. Wrong. They've sent the wrong gasket out. What a surprise. We said we don't want original gasket, we want a multi laced steer one, because that one I've just shown you, I had to come out of the garage because the radio was on. That one that they've sent out is the wrong one. We need the multi laid gasket and it gives it half a chance to knock the head gasket going. Oh. Well, especially when you want to get on. What you got in the box? Uh, some sweets. Some sweeties? Yeah. Lots. Where are you going? I'm going to North Holland. To go into the machine shop? Yeah. It rhymes with machine shop nearly, doesn't it? There we go. What's this in here? What's What's that? Tech products have sent me this out. We're going to be converting that in the wagon. What's that? What's that? Top dong. Top dong. Jump start. What's this? That is a fuel can. So this Peugeot is a quick to We are quick. To, you're a quick to take that to the machine shop. And I'm going to MOT in this little uh, K. It's been a proper... You what? All right. Now we're going to get back in the yard. Yeah? What time are you going to MOT? Three o'clock. Oh, you've got to wait in the machine shop, haven't you? Yeah, all right, mate. I'll see you. Yeah, I'm going to take that K to um, MOT. It's a crazy, busy Monday. It's a crazy, busy Monday. That's how we like it. Crazy, busy on a Monday. Right, then, the day has finished. But I'm working in the truck because we're racing on the 3rd of April. So this is what I'm doing tonight and I'm filming this. This will be a Saturday's upload because content is, um, we had loads and it's run out because we're that busy at work. So there's gonna be lots of week at shines. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'll try and do the week at shines every Wednesday for a Wednesday upload or as a stop gap. But if I'm filming the content as I'm going along and string it all together, it might be a world of different stuff, but it makes videos and some, some of you said about Saturday's video, which had Nathan Subaru in and a bit of little Lewis taking the Fiesta to bits and Sam doing the glove box and us putting the dashboard in the cab. It makes for a good watch because it's got a bit of variation. So I've got the time lapse on. I'm getting this sorted out. I've changed the layout slightly. 
So I've not really filmed much doing inside the wagon before, so it's a test to see if it if it goes down well. And if you like this sort of content, whatever. I mean, I love making content and the family that we're growing, the family, the community that we're growing, it is a family, yeah, and I'm loving it. So I must crack on because I've got a video to make for Saturday and I've got this wagon to sort out. And we've got the K to sort out. And I definitely don't think I'll make the first race in the Fiesta, which I'm a bit gutted about, but so it goes sometimes. I've not even bought the wheels for it yet. So it's just a bit of finance and stuff and time and effort. So there we go. Let's just, I'll crack on with this and I'll see you in the morning when we'll crack on with whatever we're doing. I've got my hat on. What's that mean? It means we're going to weld up a course today. Da -da 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 -da. Took the K for test yesterday. Can't remember if I told you about that. Is that my breakfast? It's just dog hairs. I'm always covering them dog hairs. Right, so we've opened up. Just waiting for Sam and Lou to get here, the apprentice. I'm gonna set Lou on with this little K. The weather's really good. So I'm just gonna set him on outside, just to strip the brakes down. Not to reassemble them, because I need to be with him when he's reassembling to make sure everything goes back together. I'm going to get this just on a bit of concrete up the top in the uh, the land of many, many cars and uh, see how he gets on while I smash through the Corsa. Da 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 da. Oh oh. Emotional, damn it. It's alright, it's not so bad. I'll just clean back there, clean down the side, clean down there, quick plate, weld it up, and then let the, the back arch have it. I don't know if that's meant to be like that. I might just. Oh, yeah. Well, it needs welding there anyway, and all. Oh, no. That's boot carpet. I hate boot carpet. There we go. So, I better crack on because it's my mate's mum's car, so it needs to be done. What you got there, Sam? Um, this is my head. It's the following day, Sam's picked up the head from the machine shop. He dropped it off last night on the way home. Lewis has got some bits. We're a week at Shine this week, Lewis, and it's yeah. Tuesday today. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday it? today. Yeah. It is Tuesday all day today. <laughs> I'm just about to start welding this. Sam's going to put this MG back together. Lewis is going to take some brakes off the of Ford KA. Okay, it doesn't look like it's uh, swimming in uh, chicken soup now. No, there's a lot of it. Hey? There was a lot of it to say it's only been boiled once. Yeah. Cam's all right to do? Straight out. Good man. Good man. Right, let's just get on with it then. A busy Tuesday. Busy Tuesday. What are you doing today? Picking up receipts. <laughs> then what are you doing? We sold them. What's your hoodie? What's your hoodie say on the back, Lewis? <coughs> my job, my job. If anyone's interested in these hoodies, let us know in the comments down below. We might be able to put them on the uh, thing. We sell welding gas, I bet they do, at an unreasonable price. Yeah. Very expensive. Very, very. Not very good, not very nice, Lewis. <laughs> Run out of gas, dinner. Run out of gas. Drag it along the floor, I don't care. Get your toll to come to the door, won't they? I'm in the car, yeah. Oh, look at that. Is that okay in that crate? Well, I just got it up. This frost is on the van. It's very good. ribbed. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for me, gas bottle. All right, mate. Oh, I need my paperwork, don't I? I've just got to do the credit now. I'll do that right. in a minute. Yeah, thank you. All right, buddy. Nice one. Cheers. Just pump your car around. I'll park wherever I want, mate. Thank you very much. Don't give me no abuse. How are you keeping? Oh, very good. Very, very good. How are you? Good nice mate. Well, Filming though. a week at Shine. Oh, we need we need content. You need content. Well, yeah. guy, see you later, Shane. Goodbye. Nice to see you as always. There is nothing worse. When you're trying to get on, you run out of gas. Don't mind it. And it's quicker for me to come round here by the time because I'm busy delivering. So thank you, MPD. Sometimes a place to be. 
sometimes. Sometimes. It's a big old spot, mate. Right. This vehicle is knackered. That mounting point that goes up into the chassis is gone. And it has got a split in the axle there. It's with all the farm lanes and everything. We've washed it all out. Started doing the other side. And then I was laying on the floor and I just noticed a load of clump of mud. Took it out. So this vehicle now is rotten. Where's it going? It's going up there to get filled up. Yep. That's a scrap car. This is all we've got. Yastra, but that one's a load of work. That we could have ready in about five. We could have that ready for next week. I do that at 1,500 quid diesel. Just got to put a back axle in it. And a year's MOT, whatever it needs. Diesel, Civic, or the Jag. I'm not being horrible to you, Lewis. I'm not. Right, so these shockers on the K, that's why we're changing them, because they're knackered. I've got the radio on, but there ain't no music playing. So Sam's finishing off on the head now, inlet manifold's going back on. Um, so I'm swapping these springs over and strut tops, and Lewis will go fit them, then I'll go check them. Simple as that. Little K is going back together now. I'm just tightening up the um, carrier for where it's had the new brakes on, new strut. Lewis, you've done a pretty good job. I'm just helping Lewis finish up because I'm done because the course can't be done. So I'm just nipping these up and then we'll open that up. Copper grease in there and get the uh, the pads in. Happy days. Have you enjoyed it, Lewis, working outside yeah. in this glorious weather? Look at that. Woo! That's it, put that away. And then bring that down. Make sure your pads are central. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got to put that pin back in. Where did you put the pin? Down there. Somewhere. Oh, you just mm. chuck stuff. Chuck stuff on the floor <laughs> and then you've kicked it all around. I hope you find it. Where's it gone? It's you've got your split pin as well. Your little eye clip. The little eye clip that goes through the end of that yeah. hole. You've not got it. Right, we have that. We have our clips if you need them. All right. You should have put it back in the hole. Yeah, it's good practice. That is perfect practice. Did you take this side off? I took the bolt out. I didn't need to take that out on the other side. You didn't it just need came to off. Yeah, but that. All right, because they both came off. Right, got you. Got you. Thank you for your hard work today. It's okay. Thanks. What have you learnt today? Um, Do lots. Our clips. Yeah, keep our clips and don't lose your air clips. Yeah. Well done on an effort today, mate. All right, take it easy. Bye now. Hi, dog. I'm a good girl, me. Wuggle, wuggle. Look at me. Wuggle, wuggle. Happy dog. Right, that K is done. Lewis has washed it all down. So that's had new shockers. Discs and pads at the front. I've got an oil pressure sensor to put in it in the morning. And um, yeah, that's it. That's one done. The MG is up and running. Just got to flush it out in the morning and bolt the few bits back together on it some rubbish in the bin yeah so that's all done just use that wrapping stuff so not scratch it to keep this up while we worked on it so sam's done a wicked job of that merchandise we're a bit late this week normally we do the merchandise every monday but that's done that's going to get picked up tomorrow so yeah it's been a busy day as always and I'm done. I was going to do a bit more work on the truck tonight, but I am knackered. So I'm going to get myself some tea, lock this place and have an early night. We'll see you Wednesday. Guess what? Wednesday morning. And I forgot to start filming. Rod and Sump, you're coming off. Cracked gearbox mount, front one, stabiliser mount, whatever you want to call it. That mount there is finished. So yeah. Sump, gearbox mount, tracking, and this one is in for MOT at 1.30 this afternoon. Sam's going to finish off the, the door is locked because I haven't opened it, retard. The door, the door. Sam's going to finish off the MG, and I'm going to do that. And I think there might be a service in today, that might be tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know, I've got the bed there, who cares. Morning. Should be down here, should be down here. Our right, friends at Febby, there's a mount, there's a mount, there's a sump, nice, some returns, right, morning everybody, oh, and I totally forgot, 
it's in for a power steering pump as well. But we're just putting a second hand one on because they're a fortune and we're trying to keep the cost down for the customer. That's right, that's what we're doing it. Here we do, Dad. Keep the cost down for the customer. Yeah, morning, everyone. Bloody hell, man. Steady on, you're running me over. I don't care, Dad. Go get your brew on. This focus is in for an oil and filter service. I've just drained the oil out of it. What? Because obviously I've got that on the ramp and I forgot about this. So I'm doing the air filter next, the oil filter down there, and the fuel filter there. So that's that one sorted. Look at that. New Rev Revin Kevin. <laughs> Minging. <laughs> Putting this in first, obviously, because you've got the locator there with the O-ring. So, don't put it on the, the cap first. Locate your all. Which is easier said than done. I've had this trouble all my life. Uh. Put your new O-ring on the outside. Clean the cup. Nice, shiny, shiny. Screw in. There is torque settings for these. They're normally on. The, the cap, just nip it up. If you've got any common sense about it, you don't over tighten it and break the plastic holes and just nip it up. Yeah, very nice. Right, so the Sephira over there isn't going for test today. We put the uh, the second pump on because we did put a pump on it the other week. And if you don't know what the freaking hell has got into it, we thought so. Obviously, they came with plastic grommets over over the end of the pump, but that. It's had something in the bottle, something like that. Look at it. And that's what's been knackering it up. So the pressure and that's forced that around there. So the Sephira isn't going to be fixed this week because we need a pipe. But we've ordered, we've ordered a second hand rack and pipes off eBay for it to come. So we are all sorted. Well, that's Thursday over. I don't even know if I filmed anything today. I've been so confused. Friday tomorrow, get on with the Cavalier. Because I know that this week, I'll have to be a week at Shine and Friday on the Cavalier. That's how it's going to be. Because it is really Friday and I know there ain't enough footage, so I've just added that in for boobs and giggles. So this episode is just a mix up of whatever it's content. Hello and welcome. I am Colin. That's Sam, and this is Shine Automotive, and in seven weeks, we are driving that all the way from North Yorkshire in England to Benidorm in Spain. And it still doesn't run yet, and it's in a million bits. So today, we have to have a full crash bang wallop day on it. Lewis is at the top of the yard getting some electric power steering pump taken off a Astra G. I think it's an Astra G. Is it an Astra G? And it's nice and sunny. I've got my Shine t-shirt, got plenty of new Shine t-shirts in stock. So we're gonna get it pulled forwards today, we're gonna to get the engine mounted and we're gonna start placing stuff around the engine and we maybe see if we can get the thing to spin over. Who knows, let's just crack on with today's episode. been a bit of a change to the situation. Sam had a sort of appear back in the Cambo. Um, it doesn't look good. The alternator doesn't look good. And we're trying to be realistic. Because we want to use this to do all our charity fund runs in. This is what we're building it for. Even though the outside might get changed, colours, wraps, whatever like that. Sam's going to take the gearbox off. Let's have a look at the condition of the clutch. But ideally, we want to put a clutch in it, put a cam belt and water pump on it and a alternator belt, uh, alternator and a new drive belt so that when we've got that covered off, if, you know, God forbid we drive and the alternator packs up. You all know what them alternators are like. 
that's what we need to do. But I've just had a ring round and everything is a fortune. And we booked all the accommodation the other day. I'm not even going to talk to you how much all that was. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. But this car's going and we're going in this car and that engine's taking us there. So I'm hoping that one of the motor parts companies is going to help us out. We've had TWS Constructions that helped us out with the build of the MX-5 for the NHS. God, that's such a long time ago, I'm trying to remember that. He jumped on board and took 150 quid into it, towards it, which is a massive thank you to TWS Constructions. Link down below to their website. Right, I'm going to think I'm going to have a play with the steering column while Sam's going to take the gearbox out of that engine. If I can get the column in, that's uh, another thing pushed out the way. Money. 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 Chilling out, Bella. You don't know I'm chilling out. Are you getting on, mate? Just waiting for some bits. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing now? You got the new alternator on. Yeah. The alternator's here. Then he's doing the cam belt. And then the water pump. And then the clutch and the flywheel is on its way because sadly they're, uh, what are they, Sam? Finished. Nice polo shirt you got on there. Nice yeah, po polo cool. shirts. Link down below. Help out with the. The cost of this, that'd be wicked. Wouldn't it be wicked? Or some t-shirts, waffle waffle. I'm carrying on working out the steering column. So today's giveaway is a big one, right? It's the battery tester by Top Don. It's the BT300P, right? We'll just show you what it's all about. And basically, they've got a sale on for this. So next weekend, from the 1st of April to the 4th of April, they've got a sale. I put a link down below for all the discount. It comes in its nice little case. Extra paper. Got two rolls of extra paper. Be quiet, Bella, please. Woof, woof, woof. Yes, MPZ. Go in your bed. Go in your bed. Go in your bed. Oh, go away, Dad. I want to bark at who I want to bark at. What does it say? It's knackered. Oh, right now. Right. All right, chap. All right, how are you doing, MPD? You all right? Good. Right, so basically, you, you plug it in. We're going for a battery test. Going for a battery test. We can do a cranking test and a charging test, which, if it starts, we'll maybe look at. Right, so battery test. So regular flooded, so if it's an AGM gel, you've got the... Yeah, can you just... Flooded. That's better, yeah. Keep it well So tilted. we've got a regular flooded battery. So we'll look on here to what it is. Yeah. Right, what have we got? Um, what do you want, the, the amps? No. Uh, it's an EN. <clears throat> it's an EN. So we need... There it is. So EN. Yep, got that. Sorry about the reflection, guys. The weather's so nice. It's on the side, mate. Thanks. Right, it, yeah. right. yep. it's, it's a 600 and... Right. Yeah, we will do, mate. Have a lovely day, MPD. Yeah. It's for sale. I could see you in this. What is it? It's a Civic. No, I don't like it. Oh, right. 640 amp. 640 <clears throat> amp, yeah. Testing. 
good charge, 70%. Now this car's been packed here for about a week. So, and it does your print out. So if you've got a garage, if you want to do that as part of your service and then offer that to the customer. 70% healthy, it's still got 534 amps out of it, 640. Regular flooded, it tells you what it is. So that's good, it needs charging. So if you want to win this, right? And what you've got to do is you've got to start the joke with top down and it has not to be listen to this not to be in the pin comment this week it has to be in the main comments right top down and then your funniest joke but the joke has to be electric related so something to do with wires getting blown up i don't know that's what it's got to be but it's got to start top down if you don't put top down you're not in with a chance and if you've got a YouTube channel and you want to pick the winner of this next week, get in touch with me, right? Because the winner of last week's competition and the bits, first prize is a cling spore hat. Second prize is a book, car book by Peter Kobaka. And the third prize is a sticker. And the guy that's going to pick these winners is... Morning, guys. This is Paul reporting from Betty Hour Camper Van. Just give you a quick butchers. And back to me. Right, Colin's given me the opportunity to uh, pick out the three best jokes from the pinned comments in the last video. So here we go. First one is from Ali Mac Mechanical. I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather. Not screaming and yelling like the passengers in his car. I like that one. All ones are good ones. Second one is from Steve Coulter. I met Tom Hanks once. He was very rude. I asked him for his autograph and all he wrote were thanks. Third one is from Stuart Davison. I went into Burger King today. The woman serving had a badge on her left breast that said Pat. Long story short, it didn't go well. I'm now banned from Burger King. Quite like them three. They were good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a shout, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you do. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, Colin. Thank you so much for that. If you want to head over to Betty, our camper van's channel, there you go. And there's a link down below. Just check this out. Thank you very much for that. If you want to get involved with the giveaway next weekend, don't forget, please hit us up ASAP. But there might not be a video next week. It might be the week after with racing closing up. Who knows? But contact me straight away. Top down, baby. All right, absolutely change that. Get outside while we've got a bit of light. All right, your first prize winner, right, gets the battery tester, the BT300P by Top Don. The second one is a smaller battery tester, yeah? The battery tester, RT Battery 101, like G101. And the third one, I'll do a Top Don battery charger, the 1200, I think they call called the 1200. I'll get Top Don to send one direct to you, all right? Thanks, Top Don. Don, 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 thanks. Uh, right, yeah, I just wanted to squeeze that in with the video and totally change it because I feel like a top don, top don giveaway. I always say don, right? Swing, dong, a dong. <laughs> what do you reckon to the battery tester? Battery tester, sorry. Works well. Works well, doesn't it? That, it's a good bit of kit in the bag and everything. Right, the clutch and the flywheel, the cam belt, everything has just turned up. Massive expense because guess what? Sam's had a feel of the gearbox. He's had a good feel around. I think uh, it he's, he's, you what? You what? You all? If, yeah, he's, he's felt it. And, and there's really, really rough bearing. Why it's in bits. Can't believe we're saying this. Can't believe I'm saying it. The gearbox has got to go off to have some bearings put in. Stressed, expense. The money that we're raising for charity this time round. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm happy, don't mind. Wait, like, live life once, innit? But it's cost a fortune. To build this car, it's cost a fortune. To pay for all your trips. But next year, we'll do something else. Or we might do something else at winter. We might just do whatever. But this will be our charity fun run car. We're raising awareness for things. Raising money for charity. And just enjoying life in general. Let's have a look. Look at all the dust rails. Just banged it around. Right, there. We're starting to get a column in place now. So I want to... Continue with it being on a time lapse and just continue working away. I need this column sorted today because it's doing my hand nappering. I need to get some of it finished because Sam's done more on his car recently and finished it. There we go. Not a lot of prattling about, but we just got to get on. Just got to get on.
That's the gearbox going away to be fixed. Why have you done that? That's how you scratch glass at you. All oh, right, yeah. So at least the cam belt's on. So I'll show you the cam belt on now. Oh, I can't because somebody's put the oh, cam no. belt cover on. Oh, no. So at least it's on the time lapse. And then there's a new um, Dubri Watts it. And then there's an, an, no new water pump yet because that hasn't arrived, I take it. No. steering that isn't screwed in i just put it on to try and make sure we've got the uh the levelness which is pretty good and and i don't know if i could do this one-handed right i got i got it wedged in between my fat chin yeah come on out in out in down up out in oh lock Hey, who would have thought you'd have seen that in a Cavalier? So, I'm really happy with that. Sam's gone away with the gearbox. He rung me a few minutes ago to say, bearings are knackered, that's 400 quid repair gearbox. Clutch and flywheel, was 400 pound. Cam belt, 70 pound. Alternator, 150 pound. The look on my dog's face prices. Hello, dad. You look very stressed today. Stop it, Dad. Stop chasing me, Dad. Ow. Oh, oh my gut, man. Oh, sorry, Dad. I forgot you were so fat. Do you know what's happening? Wayne's coming to work on the K8 tomorrow and in jerk here because I'm still fixing a wagon after that little accident. So, whatever. This is weird. Random content day. Right, it is now Saturday. Right, so this has been one busy week and we're racing next weekend and Wayne's come to finish off the race car from when me and Nathan put the engine in the other week. Hi, Colin. Hi, friend. So, your car friend. So Wayne's going to put the radiator back on it, the frame, and there's an issue with the power steering which is going to maybe change the pump. It might be out the pump, it might be out the pipe. He's going to have a look at that and get that sorted. So... And then we'll get headlight on it, bumper on it, and she's good to go. And on Monday, Nathan will track it up. So I shall let Wayne crack on, because I'm on with getting the truck ready, or we won't have a vehicle to go with.
the old bumper on the wrap that we got done about six months ago. I need a longer bolt for them, knackered it. But that is there, all the radiators in. Wayne's got the power steering pump swapped over because that was leaking. So Wayne has done a wicked job prepping the car. <laughs> Uh, you think I've been here the whole time? Hello. Sophie! What you need? I got you on what film, you Sophie. Need? I've got you talking and everything. Where's Sophie gone? Today. And so he's got it all prepped. That's done. That's been a crazy episode. A week at Shine. Weekend, Friday, whatever. I've been calling. That's Wayne. He's waving. Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm going a bit too lally, I think. Waka, waka. It's just all about waffling. I feel a bit chafy today with heat, you know, a bit chafy. Absolutely odd.